the tanks. Uh, the best way I've found to measure those is once you get your aluminum pipe weld or weld on here, glued on there. Just lay your uh, false rib right up beside your fuel tank right here, and then just take your pencil, mark your line, cut that off, gets right on there. That's just a quick and easy way to do it that we found works real good. After I get them marked, I like to take this little saw blade looking thing on my Dremel and I just cut off fairly close to the line. Oh. And then I take it to the belt sander and sand the rest of it off. Be careful where you put your finger while you're doing this because blood stains are really hard to get off of these things. All right, we got them trimmed off. Now we'll put them on the belt sander. Finish sanding them to the line. That's the easiest way we've found so far. After you get them sanded and set on your top of your tanks where they're supposed to be, uh, I just take a couple straight edges. Straight edges. This one's fastened down, of course. This one's just setting here, uh, and just look underneath them. Sand them until they're in contact all the way across, all, all four points touching, you're in good shape. Now if you do by chance make a mistake and over sand, just simply take a one of your take one of your popsicle sticks and slide it there until it lifts it up against the straight edge because you do want the top heights to be to match up because that's where your plastic nose or plastic front is going on here before you cover and you're ready to glue them in place be sure to measure your distances seem like six or six and a quarter is the distance in on those but check that out to make sure pretty simple after you figure out how to do it Maybe a trail on top. Yeah. <laughs> Sitting safely on the lower trail. It's where people drive their vehicles. <laughs> Okay guys, we finally got all the false ribs on. They are a little bit of a pain, but uh, we got them all on, we got them all varnished. They're drying right now. Been working on the Laker leading edge. Uh, there's a, a a splice right here where the fiberglass is doubled up and you have to sand that ridge off wherever, uh, wherever your wing spar is gonna set because it's pretty rough. I went ahead and sanded these down 
really thin right here in hopes uh, where they where they lay on the on the top cap here people usually use super fill uh, to touch that up and sand it off I'm gonna try sanding these down on here I'm sanding the back side about halfway down uh, maybe not even halfway but quite a bit getting down to a, kind of a sharp point and when I get them on here then I'll sand the fiberglass again and hopefully I can trail right into the wood and not have to use much filler I'm just going to give it a try and see if it works or not but I just thinned all them down quite a bit and uh, got all the ridges off top and bottom We're ready to go got to wait till tomorrow night the varnish will be dry we'll start gluing this thing on All right, guys, that wasn't too bad, was it? Got her all, got her all put together. Got her all clamped down, glued on. Number one's done. We really worked hard at getting it stretched tight. Uh, it looks good. The glue spread good. We got good tension on it right now, and uh, I think it'll dry up real good. 
Just got to trim the ends and trim her gas hole after she dries out. But one more, or half a page anyway, to check off. <laughs>